Ooh, guys, we got a good match hey, for you. Let's go. All right, so we got Slick Sinister going up against the reigning second world tour champion, UYU Kudans from South Korea. And oh my gosh, this guy brought the curse from Poland with him. We're in the Arctic snowfall. Maybe it was Kudans. But man, all right, anyways, we're going to start off this matchup here. This one, of course, Kudan's always using Devil Jin. Now, Slick Sinister picking Steve. Oh, man, I want to see how this is actually going to yeah, turn Steve out. Steve is one of those characters that can actually smother Devil Jin pretty well. So we'll see how, uh, how Kudan's should be able to adjust in this matchup. Anyways, here we go. First match in this race to two. Man, we have so many good matches coming up. Yeah, we have uh, Jody the Great coming up. El Negro is here versus Shadow 20Z. That, definitely that one of the next good. gen, like, next gen Tekken players that you should be looking at if you're not. Yeah, here we go. Slick Sinister looking to open up Kudan's here. Playing, you know, pretty compact here. But now Kudan's starting to fight back using that jab. Oh, Albatross too. They trade blows. But of course, Slick Sinister winning out on that one. Here we go. Follow up here using that sway. I like the down forward too. Oh, we oh. caught him with it. Uh huh. Gets time the Wraith Kick. Follow up with the Demon Steel pedal. Here comes Kudan's. Yeah, Hasn't good. used the Hell yet. I think Kudan is like the master of Ooh. using properly timed hells with Joe Slick Sinister. Oh, that was not a full punish, but gets the rage drive right after it. Is this going to be it? It might be the follow-up. Oh, oh, he missed it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Four. Oh, my gosh. That was actually pretty close. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, then you got the bun up. I didn't even see it, man. Yeah. The samurai knife. Transitioning. Okay. Nice. While standing one. Man, he's been using. I mean, he's, he's been doing pretty damn well. So Slick Sinister. Yo, he Came is into fight. it. Look, you can tell he is super into it right now. Yeah. Okay. A little mini wave dash right there. I feel like Kudan's is a... Oh, oh this time. to electric. Yeah, and you got to be careful. It's like at any given moment, Kudan's can whip that out. Like a jab. Like a boy. Okay. Yeah, like a boy. Uh-oh. Again, oh. he's been hitting with that albatross too. Nice. Kudan's trying to interrupt there with a the down forward too. Hoping to get a counter hit. Oh, caught him out there. Did not confirm the combo. Doesn't matter. Unlockable right for the follow up. Tries to hit him with the low. There's the hell sweep oh, finally. Man. Is this it? It might be. Yeah, it yeah, is. Heaven's it. Gate follow up, and that's going to be it. So Kudan's up two rounds straight now. But they were a very hard fought two rounds. Slick Sinister still has a chance here. He's going to have to start committing to more damage opportunities here. I, I've noticed he already hit him with extended duck two on block. Forced him to get that unblockable setup. I wonder if we're going to start seeing the, the mid version here and getting combos. Uh-oh. Right now he has a good life lead. But he's got to, oh, be careful because of the wild standing too. They're able to get right underneath the highs. All right. And Slick Sinister is actually not doing that bad. Found a lot of good hits. He's not able to close out any of the Oh, maps. no punish on the wall rising too. That's going to be a Kudan with a nice, clean, electric wind god fist. Man, Slick Sinister uh, actually not looking bad at all. Though. Yeah, he has a chance. You know, I feel like if he uh, tightens up a little bit, doesn't give Kudans an opportunity to throw out those key moves, kind of keep him, prevent him from putting out any of that offensive threats. I'm gonna tell you go, right now, you I'm have to be real. able to, uh, you have to be able to take away the threat of hell sweeps or electrics, right? It's one or the other. Because if those electrics are there, he's always gonna have that combo potential. And However, that, that's a crazy thing too. Is like. Both Hell Sweep and Electric, you can beat them by ducking, right? You can beat them by ducking or by sidestepping towards the left. Mm -hmm. The only problem is it opens up the ability to hit other things that are yeah. just as scary. I mean, the Wraith Kick, the follow-up with the Demon Steel panel, that's guaranteed. You got to watch out three or three of those and you're pretty much done. True. You got to be careful. So it's uh, it's tough, man. It's it's all about, I guess, the mind when it comes to this this type of matchup or how you're going to try to seal away what Devil Jin's potential is. Oh. While standing two gets the counter hit, gonna go That's straight for the huge floor damage. break. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Uh, two, three. Uh, oh my oh, god! Half life, first combo of the round. Yo, are those uh, those electrics must be unblockable now? Because I mean, this is crazy. My dude is just eating these bad boys, like literally with his face. Whew. Another down four. Man, I feel like that's one of the things Kudans has over quite a few people is his ability to choose when to like do these little pokes these, those random down fours just to like open you up oh yeah it kind of mess up your rhythm that is you least it's expected boom okay. uh, oh wow i thought he's about to hit him with the twin lancer oh now we're going downstairs what's he gonna do with this Follow what up. hey the delay oh. try to get the extra damage just a little too long all right man two rounds straight here Kudan's one round away from moving on in the tournament Slick Sinister is going to have to turn it up here. Oop. Interesting. I think he was 
go for a god is there again. Yeah, small scramble right here in the neutral. And now Slick Sinister's, I feel like he's taking his time a little more now. Yes, he has to pick him apart. But he's still, like, he's still advancing a lot in some of these situations. He needs to be careful. He might eat an electric for no reason. Yeah, oh, that's the key also. I mean, he has to push him towards the wall. He's, oh, my God, for no reason. <laughs> I Pardon told you. Steve. I was like, what is he doing? He's still moving forward. And we're going downstairs. He's going to hurt. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. Das up. Oh, he went for the Oh, he went, dude. Those are hidden. Oh, my God. Man, quick. Two games there for Kudans versus Slick Sinister. I can tell you right now, though, man, he didn't do that bad at all. Did yeah. not do that bad at all. So I had this idea, right? What's I your had idea? this crazy idea. Talk to me. What if in Tekken they had legendary skins, right? But the legendary skins were actually like old school movie martial artists. So you can legit make a Bruce Lee scan for long. You shouldn't have told people this. We should have kept it for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I have other, but the, the ideas I have. I like that. I, I like that. I, it, some and then, and then Jackie Chan four. <laughs> I feel like you were setting me up for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to hang out, man. <laughs> See you for the 18th. I wouldn't go do that. I'm not that guy. I would have. Okay, I already know. See? But either way, thanks for tuning in. CEO 2018. This is the Tekken World Tour. Don't get it switched. I'm telling you right now, we've already seen some crazy matches. One of which, Pink Diamond defeated Porkchop. Not in the mirror match, but after the switch to Master Raven. We've already seen Kudans play. My boy Book is here. And next up on the stage, we have my hometown brethren. My brother from another, Jody the Great, will be going up against Knock. Knock. Coming up yeah. next. Yeah, Knock, a.k.a. Little Jin Boy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see because you know, I think Knock is probably going to be using Eddie in this matchup. And Jody the Great more than likely going to be using Lee. Oh yeah, he's uh he's been putting in a lot of work with Lee actually. Been streaming a lot more actually. Yeah. Uh his midnight Tekken runs are actually been have been pretty good with some tunes too. So make sure you check my boy out. Check six, Jody the Great. Ah, so there I like Jody. Jody's a cool guy. I wonder which version of Jody's showing up. Is it gonna be Jody the Great or Jody was great? Yeah, I see exactly. I'm glad you started that. I'm 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 a consistent okay. believer yeah. in the Jody the Great, but he got he got to perform, baby. That's just how it works. But yeah. I got faith. You know, he's he is a story player. I mean, a lot of people might not know him because you know, when the game was getting more popular, it wasn't really being streamed. But he has been able to beat some of the best players in the United States. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's been tra and he's been traveling for quite a bit. But I feel like that's the story of Tekken, man. Yeah. You Jody the Great was the guy that eliminated Bronson Tran from Evo, and Bronson never came back. After oh, that. he never came Bronson, back after yeah, that. He's that, never that that's when he went to casual. Bronson. That's what happened. Yeah, that, he retired. Jo him. That was because of Jody. He retired him. A lot of people don't know that. Fun fact. Yeah, man. Jody so, the Great owns uh, owns Bronson Transol. If you ever see him, you see Bronson, and say, hey, man, you're that guy that got beat up by Jody the Great and put you in retirement. Just remind him because it lets him know where he stands in the world. Anyways, knock. Check six. Jody the Great. Yeah, but he's definitely been putting a lot of work. I, I, also, shout out to my boy Bronson Tran. I, he gives me a lot of crap, but... Oh, he's picking Jack in the matchup here. So mm. instead of picking Eddie, I, I think maybe he switched over. I haven't seen him play in a while, but this should might this might be a better matchup for Jody the Great then. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, the normals that, that Lee has, we talk about how good Jack is, but I feel like Lee is one of those characters that have like those proper normals. Yeah. The down four ones, the, the nice down back threes, down three, really good. A uh, back four is really good. It clips a lot of the moves that Jacks can throw out. That, the back four. Oh, nice. so, so it's like... He has the tools that can neutralize a character like Jack. We talk about how simple he is to get started. I feel like Lee is the character to perfectly balance that. Yeah, and you know, Lee can stack up some quick poke damage. Able to hit from almost optimal ranges. I mean, he could do advanced silver fang. He has the slide as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that he could do in a certain matchup. Oh, he got him out of the air. Uh, one of the things that we just have to kind of, I don't know, I would say be wary of he gets a follow up there, is more often than not, we don't see Lee. Lee is a very rare yeah. character, I would say. Uh, overall in the overall scheme of things. Uh, more often than not, the Lee players probably would pick another character just because it's a bit easier to use. Lee's not an easy character to use. Oh, he, definitely he, not. But, but if you can optimize what he has, he's a great character. He's definitely a great character. And you saw that punish on that Raw Rising 2-1. He got the extended uh, infinity kicks because that's a specialty of Lee. So yeah. that's what I mean about in this matchup, it's a lot easier for him to deal with what Jack has 
than a lot of the other characters. I feel the same way about characters like Shaheen. I feel like Shaheen versus Jack is really good because Shaheen's one of those new characters who has a lot of like Lee-like moves. I called him the new Lee until Lee was released. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. I mean, you ain't see this this robe my dude was wearing right here? I might have to steal that. I could definitely wear it. He's that. wearing a forest. Bro, it looks crazy. Anyways, follow up here, does it? Put the brakes on. And you know, I like it. You know, Knox playing very patient, but Jody the Great a little bit more. Uh oh, Ooh, Jack Hammer. Blue and he gets the blue one right after. Ow. Send our back three. Follow up. Now what? Oh, oh. What do you want on it? Ugh. Smell it. Follow up here. Down three. Oh, oh man. See, nice that was block. the first time he, wh he whipped it out, but Knock was ready for it. Okay, not getting some footing here. But you can see how much harder it is for him to keep a character like Lee locked down. But gets a big wild rise in one. Gonna get the wall. That's definitely gonna help here because he's gonna get this extra damage. Ugh. Shoulder check. 50% off. It's on sale. Nice. Oh, he could have confirmed there. Unable to get to that time. That might be it. One more hit. Oh, here comes Infinity Wars. Ooh, oh, that wall. Gotta be careful, bro. Ties up the round count in the first game. 2-2. Two, two. Yep, final round. Match number one. Yo, tries to interrupt. And again, much like the last round here, gets him at the wall here. The follow up into the shoulder. Doesn't get a lot of damage, but that makes up for it. Oh, oh my Jody God. was great last year. Oh, two years ago. my God. Nah. He turned around and won three rounds straight. I know. Jody was up 2-0 right now. And then just like that, man, he started choking on his food. Got to make sure you got some water with that bad boy, man. You got to oh, chew yeah. your food before you try to swallow, or man. Maybe, maybe milk, too. <laughs> they need some milk. All right, what stage are we going to get here? We are on the random select screen. Please don't do it to us now. I don't want to see it this early again. All right, All we're right. cool. I like Hammerhead. Yeah, I like it, song. too. Let's get that epic <laughs> stuff out of the way. <laughs> How disappointed were you that there was no FF7 remake stuff at E3? Uh, I was kind of tight. I was, was kind of tight. You're, was, you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. You're one of those Keyblade wielding. Look, but you have to remember, right? man, my heart dwells in the world of Final Fantasy. You you know this. Kingdom Hearts is just an offshot of Final Fantasy. It's like kitty Final Fantasy action. That's all it is. All right. I mean, no offense to anybody out there. I like it too. It's just the fact that that's what it is. However,. I feel like the only reason why we can talk Final Fantasy on stream is because of this stage of the character. Oh, yeah, man. I, and look, I'm a milk it. Bandai Namco, thank you so much. Yes. You're, you're, you're melding my worlds. I get to talk about all this stuff on one stream. This is sick. Yep. Anyways, you're pushing towards the wall again. You know, not continuing what he's done the past three rounds now against Jody. It's not looking good, but Jody started fight back. He whiffed just out of range there. Again, now starting to use standing three. Oh. Okay, blocks it this time. Goes in with the down back three. Oh, wow. Gets the side. Oh, no, we yeah, should have realigned. It would have worked out a lot better. Had it there. there was no punish either. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. Slow motion for me. <laughs> I like it. Do it again. You work it. All right. Yeah, I, I love that song too. Try to go for the 4 2 right after a big launcher out of Hitman. All the back twos. Gets the wall. Not prepared. Still gets the follow up launcher right after. Jody looking good, just like he did that first game, though. Oh. Power crush. Oh, nice. Talk to the hand, and just like that, Jody the Great up two rounds, gonna about to lose three rounds straight again. Oh, man, I hope not. I Come hope on, not, Jody. Don't break my heart. Okay, gets the back four, tries to get the follow-up. Magic four, he can get the wall back, too. Oh, but he dropped it. Uh-oh. Plant the seed, save the earth, tree a day. All right, let's see. Jody has to make those adjustments. He's back to the wall. You know, that's where Jack is most dangerous here. When he's able to, oh, never mind, counter hit. Wow, Jody four. Oh, has a chance, four, the four. violent knee and the follow-up. All right, okay, Jody. Three rounds straight. I like the little mini pop-up right here when he's just standing there, like, come on, bro. I'm rich, B. I like that wind pose, though. Yeah, man. man. Lee is such a, like Tekken 7 Lee just looks so sick. I definitely wear that jacket. That is 100% You could pull it off. That's 100% a Steve jacket. I'm not even the biggest fan of purple, but hell, I wear violets too. Regardless. All right, game three right here. Man, but we saw my boy, dude, that knock brought it back three rounds straight versus Jody, Jody that first game. Yeah, okay, we are going to that bandit temple, so walls are in play. This is going to be important for both of these characters just because of the pressure and the potential damage that Lee can do as well. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, here we go. Abandoned Temple. Still sticking with this Jack. 
All right, let's see what we get here. Okay. Again, starting to use that standing three here, looking <coughs> looking for a mid poke option. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh wow, he's I in think, his head. Yeah, he's definitely in his head because that air down forward two here now pushing towards the wall against the extra oh, damage. Oh, oh no! The, oh, he should. I would have gone. No, I'm glad he stopped because he would have got bodied. Baby, you right. Two, two, three. Oh, you would have just like that. Just yeah, like that. See, Jody not confirming his counter hits here. Yeah, sometimes you just want to stop at the 2-2. Two, two. Give him the check. And you got to throw it. I feel like he's not using enough forward, too, especially with the spacing that Knock's trying to put on. Speaking of forward, too, this time Knock pulling right. his out. <laughs> Counter hit. I feel like our, our, our mics are plugged or something. These players can hear right. us. They got us tuned in to the players. Yeah. Oof, again. Yeah, that 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah, that 4-4-4. Four, four, four. When it hits, when it snaps the neck on counter hit, that uh, hurts. Okay, nice. This oh, time blocking wow, he's ready. See, that's who, why you stop at the two two, bro. Who does that? I oh. like that he sidewalked in the hit, man. How did you get? Had an opportunity here. Still about even on life with Jody into rage uh -oh. right now. He has access to the rage drive. All right, oh. third C, and he ducked this time. Okay. It should be it. Uh -huh. He should be it. He's gonna hit him with the Guns and Roses. Let's go. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> I like the fact that he has his back, but he's looking still at the camera. That's yeah. it. He knows the positioning. He's a businessman. He knows Ooh. this. Okay, Violet knee follow up here. He's going to push close towards the wall here, the down four. No, he goes for the, the OK options. Able to get it. Here we go. Down three. Oh, good block there from Jody. Gets the counter and follow up. That's guaranteed. Now oh, what? Gets the slide you were talking about there earlier. Oh, in the okay. Crush City. Perfect. Okay. Jody looking great right now. One round away from moving on to the tournament. Let's see what he's able to exercise. Knock, put him out into the loser bracket. White pants. Uh oh, here we go. They trade. Oh, Yo, man, can I turn? Can you turn the music up for me, or can I do it? Oh man. Oh, and Alex Jabaley's here. <laughs> Jabe he just rolled Professor in. Professor Jabaley just rolled over here. To me, my X Men. <laughs> Can you, can you roll yo, the baby? Yo, the baby. Real talk. Yesterday was godlike. Yo, yeah, we're live. It was all right. It was it was godlike. It was all right. <laughs> yo, Jody's in trouble. And Wraith blocked oh, the defense. No punishment. What's wrong with Jody? Oh my Where god. Where in the world is Jody? I pay for it full price. Jeez, this dude Jabaley is over here harassing the cop. Did you pay for that? He asked me if I paid for my hoodie. Don't make me summon the X Men. He's wheeling around here in this Professor Xavier wheelchair. It's crazy. Full charge. I'm gonna wear my combo breaker hoodie instead, man. Get out of here. Oh wow, he got the comp the trade confirmed. This is gonna be the wall. This might hurt like hell, actually. I can't believe huh. Jody dropped it. He blocked that huge attempt there. Oh my god. Down four one again. Oh, a double down four one and knock takes out Jody the Great. Wow. He's choked so big in that opportunity where he had a guaranteed punish and he just, I don't know what he was doing. He was thinking about what's for dinner. I don't know. Why did he drop that? I am so tight right now. Me too. Me too. I what? felt it too. You grabbed my arm and <laughs> Bailey just rolled through and we just lost it. We're like, oh, oh. Unfortunately, Jody the Great going to the loser's bracket now, but we have some more matches coming up. This next one is going to be another clash of international proportions. We have Shadow 20 Z going up against El Negro. El Negro. And that should be, it should be very interesting. We, we, I'm expecting to see Claudio versus Master Raven, but it could lead into other matchups as well. Yeah, we know that Shadow can use other characters in uh, in certain matchups as well. He's a well versed character or and player he's comfortable doing for other it characters. Yeah. Yo, guys, thanks for tuning in, man. It's CEO 2018. I had to let you Bailey know how God like that event was yesterday. Was He's right. a busy man. I can't, I don't know if I'm gonna get to talk to him again. So I had to let him know. Regardless, I really do hope you guys are enjoying yourselves at home. We have some crazy matches. Some I just crazy saw, I just saw. matches coming up for you guys. Oh, Please okay. stay tuned. And that's not even the one that's about to happen, which is Shadow 20Z, my little bro. Whew. My newly adopted little bro versus El Negro. Now we've seen El Negro quite some times throughout what the past 
Uh, ever since like Tech Attack 2, he's been yeah, popping yeah, he's up. Been, he's been, been popping up. up a lot. So I'm really happy to see his skills translate over quite uh, well, actually, to Tekken 7. Yeah. But that's the beauty of Tekken. It's, it's largely a legacy game. So even if you do get these new entries in the series that adds tag mechanics, that adds these, you know, learning an extra character, you know, adding in rage, taking out bound, all these things, players actually adapt to it. And, and that's why I feel like I'm... I feel like Tekken has some of the strongest players in the world because of it. They have some of the strongest legacy players that are going to stick through their game. And now you see kind of this clash. You got two, two players that, for, to my knowledge, like emerged during the Tekken Tag 2 era. Yeah. So these are two next gen Tekken players. So, right how now. do you. So, obviously, legacy still comes into play. We know these guys have been playing since, you know, the prior games. Where did all these other people come from, Steve? I don't know. Look, man, Where we talked all, about are they your friends. We talked about the growth of Tekken yeah. Seven. That's a, a very adamant understanding, and it's really easy to see when you get. I mean, we just saw Pink Diamond take out Pork Chop. That's that's a new player taking out a player that's been playing for years on top of years. Yeah, so I, can't, that, it, I can't wait to talk to you to him later. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I told him not to cross yeah, the line. We're definitely man. having Pork Chop for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. First game. This, should, this one should be fun. This is gonna be. This it's, actually, this uh, might like be some often, good ass. Tech. How often do you see this character matchup too? Dude, don't, look at this. this and we're a, in the damage potential stage. Uh, oh, let's go. This is about to be some good ass Tekken, ladies and gentlemen. Go Man. tell your mom not to pack you a sack lunch. The next three matches, guys, is gonna be fun. So oh, I hope you guys yes. enjoy. Not only are you gonna watch, I want you guys to jump. It on ain't social. even the next three. It, yes, yes. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Yeah. This is gonna be good. Let people know. Twitch.tv slash Tekken. The action is starting. Now, here we go. Dang, she legit ask you. She's like, I'm, I hope your affairs are in order because you might not make it back to the fam. Mm. Oh, One, nice. four, three, starting it off, able to close it out here. Yo, down back three of his own. I gotta ask you, we don't normally do this, but who do you like in the matchup? In this matchup? Yeah, who do you like in this I matchup? I feel like Master Raven, actually. No, uh, no, a player. I'm talking oh, about just the player. player. Oh, who do you want to win? Let's, let's, I got to go with Shadow 20Z, man. Okay, okay. He's still new to the Steve little brother card, man. I got to give him the Steve power up at all times. Okay, now going downstairs. Looks like the power up is working out. Ooh. Shadow 20Z. El Negro right now. Let's see what he's able to pull out. You know, he's one of those players. He, it, When I was talking about things like, you know, having different rhythm, he is one of those model players, I think, that has a very interesting rhythm. He's able to bang with some of the best players out there, even the Korean players. I oh, mean, yeah, most definitely. They, they felt his wrath in the past when they visited South America. Uh-oh. Oh. Yo. Uh -oh. Is it starting? I mean, look, first off, like, Claudio is definitely a threat. However, the up-close game of Master Raven is something that actually throws off Claudio, if you ask me. Her down 4-1, she has a lot of good lows. She has a stance that takes her out of reach of a lot of normals from Claudio. Like, I feel like this is her match to lose at this point. Look at that. Just the clean side steps. Everything just seems to be working out. Yeah. Not looking phase here in the matchup, but now Shadow's starting to use a little bit of different arsenal in, in the in the moveset that he's using. Oh, oh yeah. You have to, though. It's oh, what? The neutral jump? Okay, 4-3. No throw break. Interesting. El Negro not, probably not ready for it. Oh, oh the don't four turn your back again. on me. I told you, don't man. Don't turn your back on me. And just like that, Shadow, one round away here from taking match number one. Nice. The follow-up here should be able to get the follow-up combo here. Now pushing towards the wall. This might hurt big time. Back. Oh, no. Oh, and the four. No. Jeez, look at that damage. Uh-oh, great low parry. Downstairs, what follow-up are we going to see here? Okay, and he gets the starburst on top of that. Running two, throw, ooh, that elbow drop. Yeah, that hit right during the power crunch as well. Oh, that's going to be it. Is the it? follow-up, yeah, look, extra damage here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Nice, great stuff there. Shadow taking match number one. I'm El a mm, mm, mm. Let your soul fly. So, are you hype about this remake or well, the sequel to Coming to America? Of course. I'll give it a shot. You have to. You have to. I'm if it's coming from the see. same guys, I trust them. Yeah, you know? man. Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy going to be in that bad boy. I heard Kevin Hart's supposed to be in it. That's what I heard. I, that's I mean, what I heard. Yeah, as long as they do it right, I'll be happy. Right. You know, that, that movie actually celebrated its 30th anniversary the other day. What? 30 years old. That's an old movie. Hey, That movie's older than Sajan. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of things are older to say, yeah. That's true. That's Anyways, true. Twilight Conflict, we're going to continue this battle here between, uh, man, it's probably older than Shadow 20 C2. Yeah, it's definitely old. Look, out, look, this dude ain't even got no facial hair. I yeah. know you're saying you can see the little shadow on the lip. That's just dirt. Don't. That's dirt. He didn't, he didn't clean up this morning. Just clean up, man. All right, here we go. Into the matchup. And again, sticking with that Master Raven. But El Negro, don't count him out, man. 
He's nah. a learning computer. Yeah, that guy, is, uh, he makes some crazy adaptations. Now, this time starting to sidewalk more. You see that he's sidestepping towards the right, sidewalking towards the right here. Nice little snake dash into the wall, standing one. Okay. Yo, look at the offense now by El Negro. This is working out a little better in his favor. Shadow gets away from that wall, though, and now El Negro is versus the wall right now. And, you know, the true I really believe the true test of the true mark of an amazing Claudio player is how well he's able to land the low moves. Oh, yeah, because you know everybody's looking for, like, hop kick. So getting into that range, Claudio has a lot of the low. Sidestep four is really good. Yeah, great pressure there at the end of the round. Using the rage drive here to create an opportunity. And Shadow still continuing the leap. One round up on, oh my gosh, the delay. El Negro coming back with the combo. This is going to be big damage because he has the wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at that damage. Get off me. He tried to catch him there with a the double break. Solar panel ninja. Get away from me. Oh, yeah. Oh, tries to go for the hop kick. And now you see El Negro taking his time. He's moving a lot slower in this matchup now. Yeah, well, but he does have the lead. He's probably not wanting to take that big of a risk. All right, throw break this time, but also gets the side switch. That puts El Negro to the wall, Master Raven. Uh-oh, now what? Into the grab, oh, gets it no this break. time. That's that, dead. Sh that should be it. Man, I remember when... Uh, Cuts! Cuts! When, uh, Sorry, Cuts. We, we, we just had a ninja out real quick. Uh, I remember in Tekken Tag 2, if you do the Raven, the Raven mix-up with uh, the tag throw, it's Yoshimitsu who oh, pairs yeah. up. That's how it's actually got so like. sick. And he just shows up and does the continuing of his side throw. It's so cool. Okay. Man, tag 2 has some of the dopest moves, man. It was a, a, definitely a fan game. Yeah. Man, look at this. El Negro just whittling away here with the solid pokes here. I have a feeling he's going to do more down forward ones. Uh-oh. Never Ooh. mind. Out of the error. <laughs> now at the wall. What's going to happen? He has Starburst, too. Stabbing at the foot. Are you serious? Follow the foot plan. Shadows in oh. trouble. What a sidestep in the down one to take it. Two rounds right now. Two rounds to one here in the second game. I El think Negro. that was a turning point. I feel like El Negro is running away with it now. Four, oh, three. But never mind. The loads are coming. Oh, my down, gosh. Back three. No combo from that. Yeah, he decided to get himself some insurance here with the second hit. But El Negro dropped that combo, though. That's uh, I feel like that's definitely going to come back to haunt him. Running two, I already knew it. He's going to get Shadow away from that wall, and he's getting closer to that breakable balcony. Oh, nice. He ducked it. Didn't get a launch, though. Again. Double. I bet you won't do it again. Oh, no. Oh, that wow. might be it. If he gets the wall, it's definitely going to be it. Damn. Wow. One what a statement. match of heat. And that was clean, too. That was clean. He I was able to just, you know, Take the momentum back. Those adaptations, that's what I was talking about. All right, and we are going to the Dragon's Nest where we're going to find out which one of these two players will move on in our winner's bracket. After this match, let me talk to you, Steve. After this match, oh, we have a set of winner's qualifier matches for each one of the pools. So up next is we have Alpha Red Book. The Death Note up against ITS Jackie Tran. Hey, he UIU told me. Kudans. Oh, he told you no, what? What did he, he tell you? He told me. He was like, yo, man, I didn't know Book was here. He's in my pool. Yeah. Uh oh. And, he, and like, he didn't know. But either way, go on. I'm sorry. I just wanted to throw that out there to let you know how ready Mr. Jackie Tran is for this matchup. All right. Well, next matchup after that was going to be UIU Kudans versus Nashi. Oof. So that should be Fang versus Devil Jin. And after that, we have Knock, who we just saw earlier with Jack, going up against Red Bull Anakin. Probably the best Jack player in the U.S. Exactly. Or one of them. All right, gets the launcher this time. That hop kick looking a lot better this time for Shadow. Uh-huh. Let's see what he does here. El Negro trying to fight his way away from this wall, you can tell. Uh -oh. Uh oh Gets a follow -up. Interesting why he went for the 4-4 four four after that. But again, still has Starburst. You're going to have to be careful. One nice side step here, and it could have been lights out there damage -wise. Uh -huh. Kick again. Catches El Negro swinging. He waited to the third match to start doing hop kicks, oh, and yeah. it's working. Three plus four lands into the down three. The trooper roll. First round game three on the board. Shadow in the lead. And oh. now, now you see those normals that I was talking about. A lot of uh, Master Raven's normals move her forward. And I feel like that's what it does. That's how it slows down Claudio. Nice break this time around. Yeah, it kind of kills his momentum every time she goes in, either on block or on hit. Oop, sidestep attack. Now what? And he has back to the wall. He's going to have to be careful, man. Oh, sidestep four. Uh-oh, nice. And look at that shadow. Picking away. Oh, Ooh. my God. He beat him with a crush. 
Look at this. This is going to be huge damage as well. If he gets the wall, oh my god, he didn't get it. Oh man, you just cursed him, man. That was your fault. Curses. Close for the mid. Not going to work. I like the checks. I like the checks. I like the checks. Oh my god. Oh, oh. my god, get away. Oh, he canceled it. El Negro hit a button. Oh my god. What a comeback. I can't believe he pulled that off and just like that. Tied up on rounds where he would have been up two matches or two rounds straight. This is nuts. And you can see El Negro making those small little adjustments. And look how it's working out. Now he's purposely moving into that space, trying to get him to bait out a hop kick, and it's not working yeah, out. Because he's actually going in now without hitting a button. He's just waiting. Uh oh, this time getting the low, the follow up here gets the, doesn't get the combo though. I think he wanted to go for the jab into the kicks. I like the jab. Because there is a, a guess on that end of that string. Oh, can go oh, low, sure. mid, or high. Nice. Caught him out there, and he was able to make the adjustment for the combo. Oh, not sure what that was. No follow up after that. Oh, oh running, running two. Star burst. Here we go. This might be it. One more mix up. Oh, Down man. Down four to take it. Uh oh. Wow. Set point here. And the rain is pouring now. Shadow looking to move on to the winner's bracket, of course. Ooh, big this launches. is a winner's qualifier match, by the way. So whoever wins this gets out winner's side of their pool. Four, uh -oh. three. Oh, oh this might be it. This mid. might be it. No uh -oh. way. No way. He's not going to do this. Don't say that. Don't do not do that. Oh, uh -oh. there we go. The All nice right. side set there. But El Negro going to the loser's bracket. And Shadow, 20Z, making it out winner's side of his pool. Woo. Man, that was pretty good. You know what else is pretty good, Steve? What's up? These Quanba Arcade Sticks are right now. Typing those keywords in the chat for more information on your favorite Quanba product. Maybe not your favorite, but maybe some of our favorites. Exactly, exactly. I talk about my love for the for the Aegis bag all the time. The Aegis, Aegis. It's oh, whatever, whatever, snap. whatever way your twang is. But right now we got Alpha Red book. Send an Alpha Red book. Dang, I want to know who else is on Alpha Red. Alpha Red, can you? Tweet me or just send me a PM. I just want to know who else is on the team, and if it sounds as cool as Alpha Red Book. I'm just saying, that's a. What that's if what if what if it's Batman? It's <laughs> Alpha Red is a code name for Alfred. <laughs> that would be sick. That'd be tight. <laughs> Dang, sent by Batman. That'd be godlike. Why is that not a real thing? G Unit in the building finally. Woo! He was on a plane for like 28 hours. He made it. My dude made it. And guess what bag he has on? He has on the Aegis bag. I'm See, telling you. I people, actually told. I told him. He was like, Yo, Steve, that bag. I'm like, Bro. You know what? If we ever get tired of doing commentary, Steve, we could just go to the Ben and Amco booth there and play some Soul Calibur. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some more of this Mitsurugi action, man. You help me out. Wait, is Ivy in this one? Yes, your Bart? girl is here. Oh, bro, we in there? Yeah, we'll play. We'll play later. All right. Okay. All right. I'm kind of hyped now. So, so wait. I hate to derail it. I mean, we're not in the matchup, but which characters are you looking to mess around with? Because this is the the latest build with 13 characters. So, uh, game comes out October 19th, by the way, guys. Grow. Uh, Ivy, kill it for okay, real. For okay. real. Those are my characters. Yeah. But I really like characters I really like, like Ivy. Nightmare. I, I, re oh, Ooh. Yeah. I like her. But the only shout out to my my bro Lil Ant man. He played when we played Soul Calibur. I'm gonna tell you something. My character when I played uh, four, I played three. But all the guys in St. Louis were better than me. But in four, I played Star Killer. The guy from uh yeah, cause Force, the Unleashed, Force Unleashed, dude, Force Unleashed was tight. And he, the way he held the lightsaber, it was too, it was too sick. He held it backwards. That was godlike. Anyway, but that's why I played, and it was because of that. But now like, it ain't, there's even not even a but. Like every character in Soul Calibur is actually pretty sick. So the fact. Well, that actually, you know what? It kind of changed. I know you like anime fighting games, right? It really changed. Like I mean. Giving these characters the ability to have uh, their own unique style, especially when you pop Soul Charge, everyone has their own thing now, and they're so unique, and it's crazy. I like how All the right. game is shaping out. You gotta Anyways. give me the ones and twos again. I know, oh, yeah. I know in, in Australia you gave me the Step business. Step into my office later. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> All right. we'll Here talk. we go. Book versus ITS. Jackie Trent. Good ass tech and on the horizon, oh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Coming up. All right, block. Nice. One, two, three. He got him. He tried to move maybe afterwards. Oh, did you see that? He just parried the jackhammer into the KK kicks. Wow. The follow-up here gets the wall. Now it's good. Oh, my God. He's dancing on him. Yo, back four. Yeah. Jackie Chan, when he said he didn't know Book was in his pool, man, he should have known. Get your ass in this He should have known. Volcano Buster in the volcano? <laughs> what Dang, kind of game is this? Inception, Volcano Inception. Oh, oh you're that dead. He actually you are dead. stood there and waited for him to do it. He did not move. If somebody clipped that now. Somebody clip that now. Get the get your digital scissors out. Clip that bad boy. Cut it. Man. 
Jackie Tran, what a comeback there that route. He stood there and waited for him to do back to one just so he could hit him with Rage Art. Four, push four, it in. Gets the cancel again. And you can see that. Oh, oh my, my God, God he, he did, did it again. again. Do it again. I do it again. You know what's crazy? So Jackie Chan often plays this matchup at, at, at things like Wednesday Night Fight. Yeah. He has trouble against like, you know, running black. Shout out running, to running black, yeah. by the way. Is he here? Nah, nah, he didn't come. Okay. He said he was supposed to come if he won Wednesday Night Fights. But, you know. Pack one. Gets the real line. Gonna get the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, oh, but this is obviously rip. a different Jin player, so. Book. Oh, yeah. Already showing some of his tech in preparation for this matchup, Omega. Is he gonna do it again? Oh, they trade. No combo for either. Oh! Four, two, three. Use it. The hook fists. Oh, oh the jack hammer. What you gonna do when Jackie, Jackie Tran Jackie. runs wild on you? And this is another thing. Oh, oh double chamber punch? He, he was ready. He, he punished. The perfect punish. Look at how up close he's playing this game now. Nice. Savage Sword follow up here. He goes for the punish down for one four. Just like that. You know, give me that round back. I'm gonna need that back. That was cute, though, yeah. but I'm gonna need that round back, G. Oh, down two. Nice block, bad punish. That was not the hell sweep. Yeah, she just took a while standing four. Jabs him out of the air. Yeah, he went for the parry again there. This time getting hit. Oh, the blue one. Now he's ready. The delayed hop or the delayed hell sweep there. Rolling right kick. Now what? Oh, uh, four two counter hit. This could be big. I mean, he has access to the rage art. It, it could be over. But it's all about landing what you need. Yeah, we saw what he did last time when he just waited. Oh, I thought he was going to do it again. Yeah, I, I so legit too. was like, yo, he finna go right in the rage art again. He took the bait again. Yeah, and it was the same sequence, so he used the same move, the back 2 1 to end it. But man, anyways, here we go. Jackie Tran rocking that new ITS jersey. It looks kind of cool. Kinda in the sweat. skies. Shout out to my boy, Way Gamble. Alpha Red. Book da here. Daddy Gamble. Alpha Red. Check again. This is the book. Successfully read the competition. Returning to base. <laughs> man, you get too into this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, man. That's a sick team name. Alpha Red? I like it. Damn. All right, here we go. And Book looking like he was in trouble that first game. He definitely was. I mean, you know, Jackie Chan was putting in work. He was looking to take it. I mean, right at the end, Book was able to clutch it out. But Jackie Chan, I feel like he's comfortable in this matchup enough. Hell sweep on the wall, down two. Oh, he tried to do running slash kick there. Not able to get it here. Jack he Hammer. Oh, missed the just frame. And you know what? It's crazy too, because you know, Jack Chan has been using the Jack Hammer. He got launched because of that situation a few times already, but he's still not afraid to use it. And that's the thing, you gotta stick to your plan, stick to your guns. That's a valuable tool. If you let somebody take that away from your Jack, it's probably a problem. Yeah, might as well take away your left punch, right? Right. Oh, the delay. He's mixing up the timing now. Ooh, oh, that's punish. exactly how you want to punish it. He's like one for eight. Oh, look slide in the oh, look at this punish. Back three, just to get the pickup. Okay. No, not just that. He gets the position. He's pushing. Oh, Did you wow. see that whiff punish? Back to one, just to get the wall. Oh my God! Damon Paul three one, re wall split. What book? It's in a book. We're reading rain. Alpha red. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Book is looking really healthy right now. Jackie Chan's gonna have to put in some work. Yo, um, Alpha Red, if y'all like make like team logos, start out thingies, let me do the voice. That's me. Gonna get the combo. Oh, no. It's like the Stars Alpha and Bravo team. There it is, man. Welcome, Alpha Red. Yeah, Book is Wesker. Uh oh, now what? A for Whoa. He has a chance here. He has rage. And every round. Oh, he went for it. Nah, I'm gonna get him, but Jackie Chan staying alive here. Yo, you know what? I was like, why didn't you just punish high? He went for parry right after it. So going for the low was the smartest thing he could do. Jackie Chan, an Evo champion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. It might have been 40 years ago, but he's still an Evo champion. I'm just saying, uh -oh. he still got that medal. Hey, now follow up. What's he gonna do here? Oh, man, it's not looking good. Book with a huge advantage here. Round number four. Oh, oh back to one again, and that's going to be it. Alpha Red Book moves yeah. on. And making it out of winner's side of his pool. So up next, we're going to have our next matchup.
And that's going to be UYU Kudan, who I believe is in the area. He's going up against Nashi. Nashi we've seen in many tournaments in the past, mostly using Fengwei. Oh, yeah. Uh, you used to see him a lot. That's one of Spiro's main training partners. You can see him walking with him right there in the background. He's going to need all the help he can get in this Kudan's matchup. But we talked about it before. Everybody can bleed. Everybody can get it. Oh, Nashi, yeah. we've been seeing uh, play a lot on the, the Geico online uh, yeah, he's an online warrior. Yeah. He plays online a lot. I see him on different streams, often on Sparrow Jin stream or on Anakin stream. They're playing some good matches. And of course, you know who that is on the right hand side of your screen. That who is, is Kuda. Who is it? The Our champion? World Tour champion. It's crazy. You know, his story, especially last year, how he made this huge comeback. And he's been gone from the game, you know, for a while. He went to his military service in Korea. He didn't really play Tekken 6 or Tekken Tag 2 as competitively as he's playing right now. So he pretty much had a huge disappearance from the, I'd say, the, the global scene of Tekken. I mean, often he'd go to Japan here and there just to play some games, have fun. But Kudans, last time he was in America was 10 years ago. And then 10 years later, he ended up winning the world, tur the world title. That's, that's got to say something, man. That's some longevity using the same character. Yeah, I mean, and on top of that, kind of the reason we see more Devil Jins now because he bought that character back in full force uh, and won a yeah, championship. I, I would like to say we do see more Devil Jins, but in tournament play, we don't see any other Devil Jins. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, knee doesn't count. Knee doesn't count because <laughs> knee can use everyone. That's true. He's become the, the counter picker extraordinaire. Yeah. You know, we had that, that amazing battle. I don't know if you watch all this stuff from Poland, but when knee and Kudans were battling and they, they made the switch to Devil Jin versus Devil Jin, I thought it was super crazy. <laughs> How often do you see a Mishima battle at the highest level? Yeah, not like that. Not like that. That is definitely a yeah. battle of the gods kind of scenario. It was for sure. All right, guys getting set up here. I think they're going back. They had to close out the application. Yeah, they're getting it ready. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I don't know what they're doing right now. They're playing Parcheesi. They're playing shoots and ladders. I don't know, Shoots what are they lands. doing? Oh, Kudos is looking at us. He probably logged into the wrong account, that's all. You know, it was crazy when we were, uh, we were at Combo Breaker. I'm sure you saw the finals when we were in top eight and Jundik just looked at the camera. <laughs> he, he froze me, man. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, snap, he sees us. Yeah, he's looking into my soul. Kudos, stop that. Don't look at us. <laughs> it's like he heard you. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Don't do it. Stop doing it. Hey, his shoulder looks tense. You want to give him a massage real quick? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think we got the time, man. I don't want to hurt him, man. I got big hands, dude. We talked about this. Yeah, you're right. All right, here we go. Nashi and Kudans. We're going to get this matchup. It's going to be a race to two. Winner will make it out on the winner's side of their bracket. All right, CEO 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Points are on the line. I got to save this photo, actually. I got to save that photo you took of us with that. Before we start, and oh, I, I didn't save it. The you point to shoot? Yeah. You know, it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays. You know, I, I don't know what Nashi's experience level is uh, for Mishimas, but I think, you know, most people don't have a, a basic concept of how the Mishima matchup will work. And Fengwei, a great character, he can definitely punish hard depending on the situations and how things go. Mm -hmm. But Nashi, one of those guys you definitely can't sleep on, has some of the better training partners in the U.S. I mean, Spiro, and the fact that he gets a lot of competition in that Geico Gaming Weekly. Oh my gosh, and we are in the infinite azure. The azure, the azure of infinite. Dude. I think that was such a cool character design. Yeah, he's a, uh, especially this one, I like the chains. You know what I'm mad I haven't gotten yet? The, the anniversary stuff for that Jin outfit with the scarf, with the full body scarf. I definitely want that. Why don't you download it? I haven't been home, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Don't forget it. You have the PC version on your laptop. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's definitely true. Which is a free download, of course, if you guys are hanging around. Anime Tekken had its one year anniversary content that just launched. Yo, first round goes to Nash. Uh-oh. Nash is like, who are you again? World champ, huh? Yeah, Nash is doing a great job. You know, Fengwei has an amazing tool set here that can deal with almost every any single character, and that's no exception here in the Mishima matchup. If he's able to block, oh. he's able to punish. Yeah, he has a lot of, Fengwei has a lot of lows, a lot of high crushing lows on top of it that gets him out of a lot of danger. So I feel like in this matchup, what we talked about, one of the main threats being Hell Sweep and Electric really helps out Fengwei. Oh, Ooh. that's a good punish right there. Yeah, that's a dip. Fengwei. 
away. Yeah, tied up on rounds now, one round apiece. But Nashi, you know, I feel like Nashi's still finding his comfort here. Nashi not afraid. Oh, he's able to block it again. But you know what? That's not going to deter Kudans from using the, the right. health sweep. He's going to still be able to use it. He has to, man. I feel like if he doesn't use it, it's going to be a lot harder for him. Okay, sure. okay just a knockdown, 1 1 2. I like Nash. Oh, I was going to say, I like the range he was playing in. He's doing a great job so far. Nashi, you know, if he's able to take down our champion here, that's going to say a lot for his play and his training. And, and basically just, like, confirms what we were talking about, about how, like, you know, the more we see these players, that where they have to adapt to these different styles, oh, and learn a lot faster. This isn't going to be the end, but it's going to be really close. Yeah, don't sleep on America. Oh, is he going to get this combo? Oh, my gosh, that would have been so... Oh, the reset. You're dead, bro. Uh, bad four, but the round, the match isn't done yet. It's only two rounds to one. Man, Nashi had that. I mean, it was going towards the end there, so Houdon definitely had to pull something out there. Nice, gets ball standing two into the back one plus two. The Iron Mountain. Oh, be careful. Well, 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 well. Yeah, man, I'm That's telling you, That's my favorite part, bro. Um, <laughs> so good. Nice. A great gets, kick. Gets the follow-up here again, using that Demon Steel Battle. Such a great move. Gets a combo off counter hit as well. I guess they're 4-4. Four, four. Oh, no, thread electric. Is. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Then you can. Oh, uh -oh. wow. We're going back the other way. He has an opportunity here. 4 3 to Rage Art. Okay. Is that, that's not going to kill him. It's not. It, ooh, I don't know. It's not going to kill him. I don't know. Oh, so oh, close. Oh, my God. So slow mo. Oh. Look at that. You put the brakes on. Final round, match number one. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, nice. Professor Nashi here. Oh, oh while well, standing too. And Kudong's ready this time. He's like, I'm tired of you chopping at my legs. Oh, the raid kick lands. Everything seemingly oh, landing now with a hit. big one. Not dead. He's got one more chance. Nah, he's dead. He's done. What's he going to do with this? He's done. Oh, and just slowly poking at the angst. One game down. But that was a close first game. It was. It was definitely, I mean, it, it, oftentimes I would say it was in Nashi's favor. Yeah. Uh-oh, Spiro the hero. He's What's like, look, man, you got to hey. be a hero, bro. You got to believe. Do a god match. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit him with the belief. Hit him with a Hail Mary. You're going to hit him with the most sizzle. Like, say some, <laughs> some guy comes talking to your fly girl. You hit him with one. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually one of the greatest scenes ever, man. Yeah. I was actually crying. It was, oh, that's so good. <laughs> you think he told him that? <laughs> nah, nah. He told him he had to be God. Like, that's all he did. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> it's all right, guys, here we go. We are in the geometric plane. The same that we don't often see in tournament play, but it's nice to see it here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like it's a training stage, but it's yeah, actually like one of the Yeah, reminiscent of, you know, strategic space yeah. attacks. I love that stage, by the way. The Anyways, here we go. Oh, my God, the song. The lab that. music, bro. <sighs> oh, interesting. I already oh. seeing adjustments here from Nash. He started using the hook kick. Maybe trying to keep Kudans from moving and sidestepping here. And he's playing in a little different range this time. Around. Oh, he's starting to sidestep now. Maybe the other way. It should be going the other way, I think, though. Udon oh. is definitely pulling out Yo, the electric he now. Down three, the electric, the electric, the down three. Into the demon corpse thrust to end it, man. Look at that first round of Kudan's continuing his streak here from the last match here. Again, gets the shoulder. Oh, the reverse Kempo step. Starting to use that range of reverse Kempo step. Such a good tool here. Yeah. Able to make players and characters whiff. Off to capitalize with the combo. Hey. Oh, that corpse thrust. Why does it look like it take off so much more than that uh, Demon Steel pedal? I don't know. It just, there's something about it. It's just, maybe it's the hit effect. I don't know. It just hurts. Uh oh, uh oh, he gets an opportunity. Oh, he dropped it. Still, not too bad, though. He has him at the wall. This is where it counts. Yeah, this is where the mids come into play. Nashi, oh, oh the tsunami. Oh, he didn't believe. It's a fortune. Oh, oh, he's taking he it. Yes, oh, he's oh, taking oh, it. God, he got so it. Sick. Oh, my gosh. Nashi able to clutch it out tied up on rounds right now. Uh oh. And Steve just bruised I'm my sorry. right arm. It's okay. I'm, I'm strong. I've been working out a little bit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here we go. Gets him at the wall. And the follow up. Low kick. But now, Kudan's pissed. But Nashi with such a miraculous comeback in the previous round. Hands off the wings, bro. Just got him out of the shop. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, he was able to duck it and evade it. Lots of close whiffs. Oh. Hell sweet. Good, good choice there. I like what I'm seeing here. He's going to push it towards the wall. 
Yeah, you have to be careful. Oh, Ooh, the delayed. The big delayed hop kick. That's gonna hurt. Look at the damage. Yeah, what kind of mix up are we? Oh, he went for the mid. Oh, oh he's oh, done. That's done. Oh, great kick. Such a great move. Set point here for Kudans. It's not easy though. He's working for yeah, it. He's definitely working. Nash is not letting him go home. He's down back here, yeah, get the tech. Nash, you gotta do something. Hit him with the somersault justice or something. Uh -uh. Oh, of course starts again. Okay, again. Nah, he's, he's going for those. You have to be careful though, because you know Kudans is ready to start punishing those again like he did last time. Uh oh, okay. shoulder. Okay. Nash is fighting his way back right now. The thing, I mean, I feel like he's gonna have to watch out because once he starts side stepping, I feel like Kudans is gonna be locked and ready with the rate kick. I feel like that's what he's doing. He's throwing out the electrics now, but he's gonna throw out that mid. Oh, oh my god, geez. did you see that? Just the tip, did that's you all hear I that need. Noise? Dude, that was a counter trip. hit electric we got busy. Man, what an electric. I mean, Nashi did it all right. He did it all right. Nashi did really well, actually. He did really well. Man, that was a pretty good set. That was a pretty good. And, and I, I promise you, the matches are not done yet. We already told you about the Anakin match coming up. That's what's going to be next, I believe. Regardless, we're going to take a quick break. Please go get yourself food. Come back. More Tekken 7 action. Tekken World Tour CEO 2018 when we return. Here we go. Joey Fury with Paul Phoenix versus JDCR1.